I'm Jake Davis, I'm the project coordinator for Angel Shark Project Wales and a project leader for the Guardian Angels project funded by Save Our Seas Foundation which trials the use of baited remote underwater video systems also known as BROVs to monitor critically endangered angel sharks. An angel shark is a flat bodied shark which has large pectoral fins which helps it bury itself under the sand. It's also sandy colour which helps it camouflage as it's an ambush predator therefore waiting for the prey to swim above it. The main areas where angel sharks are most likely to be found are areas on the, alongside a reef and that's a feature for them where the food will be for, for them to ambush as, they, as their prey swims over the top of them. So this is a baited remote underwater video system frame. It's made of aluminium. Um, in total I made six of them this winter. Um, so the reason we used aluminium is when they've been flat back they're light enough for us to put in a suitcase and take over to the Canary Islands and then also bring them back here in Wales. They're quite a simple design. Here's the bait pole in the little bait cage goes the bait. In, here in Wales we use mackerel, it's the best bait there is. Um, and then the GoPro then sits here and then it's connected to the buoy and ropes through the bridle on the top and with a dive torch that one will help it light it at night. So each bruv is deployed for an hour at a time so when we deploy them we take down the time the bruv is deployed, the coordinates, the time the bruv is picked up and the depth. Globally bruvs are used as a non-invasive method to better understand the species abundance in particular elasmobranch species such as sharks, skates and rays. So we're trialling bruvs to see if we can use another technique to help monitor angel sharks, especially in areas where they're less commonly found, such as here off the Welsh coast. The, the main way that we obtain records is through accidental catches and historically divers used to see angel sharks. Therefore, if, we, if the, the use of bruvs works, we can use this in areas to find out more about the species. So bruvs will be used in Wales and the Canary Islands, so angel sharks are historically and are continued to be found off the Welsh coast but in small numbers therefore we're going to see where the bros can be used. But to validate the technique we're going to take it out to the Canary Islands which is the stronghold for angel sharks and see whether they are attracted to bros. The cameras will be deployed day and night because angel sharks tend to be more active at night um, but also in the day to see if we can pick them up that way too. So how we choose the bruv locations off the Welsh coast is through using the historic and recent sightings of angel sharks and therefore prioritising the areas where angel sharks have been seen recently and then also going to the areas where angel sharks were most commonly caught historically. So we've just finished two days of beta camera work and we, so we deployed them day and night and through quickly skimming the footage we've got some really exciting images of bull husks during the day and also during the night and hopefully there'll be some more exciting results to come when we look through them properly later on. So far off the Welsh coast we haven't picked up any angel sharks. We started in May and we've got nearly 90 hours worth of footage and that's including 20 hours worth of footage at night. In total we've had over 50 species recorded from squid over to a few elasmobranch species such as thornback cray and toke. In one of the recent bruv footages we've got a recently born taupe which is about 45 centimetres which was exciting to see on the camera. So as angel sharks bury themselves under the sand and they're ambush predators, they're less likely to come to the bruvs as the bruvs are sat on the bottom and they'd have to actively go all towards the bruv. However, trialling at night allows us then to use the time where they're more active and hopefully that'll, we'll get some footage using the night footage. If successful, it'd be great that the bruvs then can be trialled out to other locations to see if we can find other pockets of angel sharks or help monitor the, the individuals that we know are in other locations within the area of their distribution. To find out more about the Guardian Angels project, visit the Save Our Seas website and project leader Jake Davis.